Hello guys and welcome to another part of my Melee Combat System tutorial series. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to create health and stamina system, how to regenerate your stamina and how to create easy sprint function. So let's jump into it. First, we need to create widget blueprint for our health and stamina. Open it and we will need two progress bars. One will be called health and another one will be called stamina. Go to health and set position of X and Y to 20, set the size to 340. Under the style, choose your background color and in the appearance tab, choose color for your health. Now go to stamina and set position to 20 and 80, size to 340. You can copy your background color from your health. And in the appearance tab, choose color for your stamina. Now compile, save and close. Go to your third person character and type event begin play. Now we need to create our health stamina widget. So type create widget and set it to your health stamina. Return value, promote to variable and call it health stamina widget. And don't forget to add it to viewport. Now we need to create four variables of the type integer. First one will be called current health. Second one will be called max health. Third one current stamina. And the last one max stamina. Now we need to update somehow our health progress bar. So create function and call it update health bar. Drag your health stamina widget and get from it progress bar for health. Set it to percent and now drag your current health and max health, convert them to float and divide them between each other. Now just return. For our stamina progress bar, you can just duplicate your update health bar function and call it update stamina bar. Now we need to change these current health and max health variables to stamina variables and from your widget you need to get stamina progress bar. Delete health bar and you are set to go. Now go to your event graph and drag both of these new functions that we created and set them in event begin play. Now let's set value for our variables. I will choose for my current health 100 and max health will be 150. For current stamina will be 200 and 200. Now if we play, you can see that our health bar and stamina bar are updated. Now we will create regenerate stamina function. For this we need to first see if our current stamina is equal or more to our max stamina. If it's not, we need to set current stamina to our current stamina and another variable that we will create right now called stamina regenerate value. The value will be 2. And we need to update the stamina bar and return. For our true path, we need to pause timer by function name. Object will be self. And function name will be regenerate stamina. After that, you need to set current stamina to our max stamina. This is just for fixing a bug. That sometimes you might have not 200 but 201 stamina and if it bothers you you should set this up now let's go to the event graph and let's create sprint event i'm gonna call it with left shift and upon pressed i want to check if my character is moving you can check it pretty easily just type get velocity from velocity you want to get vector length and from vector length you want to check if it's not equal to zero if it's not your character is moving if your character is moving we want to check if our character has at least one stamina and if he's not drawing or sheathing his weapon so get playing animation and type not if this is true we want to get character movement and set max walk speed and you want to set it to the sprint speed. So just drag this off and promote it to variable. Let's call it sprint speed. I'm gonna set my sprint speed to 700. 
and if we release shift button we want to get character movement and set max walk speed to our normal speed so just promote it to variable and call it normal speed and our normal speed is 600 so let's type it to the normal speed and hook everything now if we play and I hit shift my character is moving faster than he was before and if I release it he's moving slower to really see the difference I'm gonna set my sprint speed to 1000 you can clearly see that he's way faster than he was before and now we need to create another function that will be called sprint stamina decrease first we need to again check the things that we checked here so just copy them and paste them in your function and if this is true you want to get your current stamina and decrease it by 2 and set it to your current stamina and of course you want to update your stamina bar and now we can return and if it's false you want to pause timer by function name the function name will be sprint stamina decrease and the object will be ourselves after this you want to get your character movement and set max walk speed to your normal speed and return now go to event graph and your sprint event and after we set our sprint speed we want to set timer by function name function name will be sprint stamina decrease object will be ourselves and it will be looping and time will be 0.1 and if we release shift we want to pause timer by function name again object will be ourself and function name will be sprint stamina decrease now if we play and I hit shift you can see my stamina is decreasing and if I release it it's not it is still not regenerating yet so we will need to set that now go to the event graph and let's create another custom event and let's call it stop slash start regenerating stamina this will be quite simple you need to just pause timer by function name function name will be regenerate stamina object will be ourself after that you need to set retrigerable delay set the duration to two seconds and if it's completed we need to set timer by function name function name will be again again regenerate stamina object will be ourselves and it will be looping by time 0.1 compile save and go to your sprint stamina decrease and after the update stamina bar we just need to set our new custom event and now if we play and i hit shift you can see my stamina is decreasing if i release shift you can see that after two seconds it starts regenerating the stamina if i hit shift again you can see it's decreasing and again you can see the stamina is regenerating you can do the same thing for health and now if i hit play and press shift you can see my stamina is decreasing if i release it you can see that after two seconds it starts regenerating itself and if i press it again you can see it's decreasing again you can do the same thing for health but i don't want my health to be regenerated so i'm gonna leave it like this Thanks for watching, hope you learned something new and bye.